Subhash Chandra Bose was born on 23rd January 1897 to Janaki Nath Bose, a well-reputed advocate, and Prabhavati Devi. Subhash Chandra Bose's nationalistic temperament first came to light at the Presidency College, Calcutta, when he was rusticated for assaulting Professor Oten for his anti-India comments. During the mid-1930s, Bose travelled in Europe, visiting Indian students and European politicians, including Mussolini. He observed party organisation and saw communism and fascism in action. In 1938, he had become a leader of national stature and agreed to accept the nomination as Congress President. He stood for Swaraj, self-governance. But this, however, meant a confrontation with Gandhi, which also created a rift between him and Nehru. On the outbreak of World War II, Bose advocated a campaign of mass civil disobedience to protest against Viceroy Lord Linlithgow's decision to declare war on India's behalf without consulting the Congress leadership. Bose organized mass protests in Calcutta, calling for the Hallwell Monument, which then stood at the corner of Dalhousie Square, to be removed. Bose was thrown into jail but was released following a seven-day hunger strike. Bose's house in Calcutta was kept under surveillance by the CID following his release. Bose planned an escape with the help of his nephew, Sisir K. Bose, in a car dressed as a Pathan, sporting a long beard which he grew overnight. Bose escaped to Germany via Afghanistan and the Soviet Union. In Germany, to Hitler and Bose. I swear by God this holy oath that I will obey the leader of the German race and state, Adolf Hitler, as the commander of the German armed forces in the fight for India, whose leader is Subhash Chandra Bose. Matters worsened when the now retreating German army would be in no position to offer him help in driving the British from India. So, in 1943, Bose turned his back on his legionaries and slipped secretly away aboard a submarine bound for Japan. Travelling on board the German submarine U-180 around the Cape of Good Hope to Imperial Japan via Japanese submarine I-29. This was the only civilian transfer between two submarines of two different navies in World War II. The idea of a Liberation Army was revived with the help of Subhash Chandra Bose in the Far East in 1943. Bose took control of the Indian National Army and was able to reorganize the fledgling army and gathered massive support among the expatriate Indian population in Southeast Asia. Spoken as a part of a motivational speech for the Indian National Army, at a rally of Indians in Burma on July 4, 1944, Bose's most famous quote was, Give me blood and I shall give you freedom. In this, he urged the people of India to join him in his fight against the British Raj. The INA's first commitment was in the Japanese thrust towards the eastern Indian frontiers of Manipur. The INA and Japanese also took possession of Andaman and Nicobar Islands in 1942. It was the Battle of Kohima and Imphal which had a significant impact on the Indian National Army. The Japanese could no longer fund their armies and eventually surrendered. The INA were no match for the British troops without the help of the Japanese and therefore surrendered to the British as well. Mystery still surrounds the disappearance and eventual death of Bose, though it is said that he is alleged to have died in a plane crash in Taipei, Taiwan, on 18th August 1945 while en route to Tokyo, 
The Imperial Japanese Air Force bomber he was traveling on had engine trouble and when it crashed, Bose was badly burned, dying in a local hospital few hours later.